Um, I think that the, the polls speak for themselves. I mean, I think he's probably the worst president in American history. I've always thought he's been doing a horrible job. The guy's He's brain dead. What's going on everyone? James Klug here. Biden's approval rating has recently dropped to a new low of 38%. So today we're in Orange County, California, and we're going to ask people if they think that Joe Biden is doing a good job as president. No. No? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not? I would say not as good as the last guy. I would say actually I can't think of one thing he's done that I would agree with, or I think he's done well or right. Um, I think that the, the polls speak for themselves. I mean, I think he's probably the worst president in American history. I don't think he's done a great job. I don't think that anything's better than what it was. I see things being worse. Actually, I think he's doing a horrible job. I've always thought he's been doing a horrible job. The guy's, he's brain dead. No. You don't think so? No. I think so. You think he's doing a good job? I think I so. As long as my lifestyle doesn't change, any president is okay. It's all right, hanging in there. He's doing his best. Uh, he can use better guidance. I, I, Democrat and Republican. <laughs> oh, really? Are you guys a couple? Yeah. Oh, wow, you, and this For works. Years. Wait, you're a Democrat and you're wearing blue and he's a Republican and you're wearing red? <laughs> yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Because I'm a Democrat. <laughs> because you're a Democrat? Yeah, I'm fixed. There's no other reason? Recently, we have Washington Post, we have ABC releasing approval ratings of 38%. That's a new low for Joe Biden. What are your thoughts on that? The whole world is going through up upheavals and issues. Judging him in such environment is kind of tough. I know he can do a better job, but uh, put yourself on his spot. I know he's not doing well. Yeah, why do you think that is? Because he's got lots of challenges and working with the Congress for one, but he also had, you know, the whole incident. I don't agree with what happened in uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, I think that was yeah, I think that was done poorly. A lot of issues out there, you know, it's uh, tough to try to tackle everything. So uh, I think uh, we'll see how it goes, you know, still early days. Could he close up the border? Uh, which border are you talking about? Our southern border, we just set a new record of uh, 1.6 million apprehensions. Well, there is a positive and negative, right? If you close the border, you're not going to have workers for constructions. So if you close the border, less workers, maybe what you can do. Are all construction workers illegal? <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that they're illegals. When the Trump, the gas is $3 at that time, everybody's making big noise, is pissed. Now, the gas is $5, almost $6, nobody's saying nothing. You think that's having an impact on just average Americans? I'm sure it is. All the prices have gone up. It's because I'm a senior and I'm retired and I'm and I'm old, is that I, I don't see any trouble on HGTV. I'm it's not, a great channel. I'm it's not, a great channel, I'm but there's not, not much trouble being not, shown on I'm, HGTV. I'm not, I'm not watching C-SPAN. I'm not watching CNN. I, I think that the things that are affecting everybody are affecting me. High gas prices, the uh, backlog of ships off the coast, the disaster at the border. I, I, I really don't think he's done anything right up to this point, honestly. Failing economy. We are unsafe globally. Our borders are porous, and we have nobody, nobody knows who's coming in. I mean, just look at the gas pump. Look, I mean, just look at everything. It's common sense. Well, I think that uh, the previous guy, 45, really had a desire to do what's best for the country, and I think that's why he sacrificed uh, his business and set aside four years, knowing they were coming for him. And he took them all on because I think he felt in his heart it was the right thing to do for his country. I feel that as, as controversial as Trump was, I think he was very decisive on his decisions, and I don't feel that Biden is. I think that just because the news cycle is the way it is, people kind of forget what happened last week, but every week it seems like there's kind of something new. So I don't know who the 38% are that, are, that, that think he's doing a good job. I frankly don't. All right, everyone, that is it for today. We definitely got a lot of mixed responses here in Laguna Beach, California. Joe Biden's approval rating has gone up by a few points since the low of 38%, and we'll continue to see where it goes as we approach the end of the year. Reporting for Newsmax, I'm James Klug. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.